Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and today's film is Grass, which is a silent documentary about migrating livestock, basically, from what was Turkey in 1924, or what is Turkey now, but 1924 wasn't, to places Iran now, but wasn't, or was Iran then. The point is, this took a while. It took 48 days to migrate. So this is a film document of how they did this, and it's pretty crazy. They had to go through this mild, wide river and take all their livestock with them so that they could get to the other side. To do this, they would, like, blow up pig skins, like balloons, like some weird drinky crow shit. They'd have to actually tie down the, some of their livestock and put them on rafts so they wouldn't, you know, run out, you know, run off or run into the water or try to swim because they'd just be killed. I mean, this film really reminds me of how, really, there are places on the planet that people really hadn't been that much at all. You could really go on an adventure on the earth and find stuff and be like, and no foreigners have ever been here, you know, no one's been able to record this. So that's the really cool thing. In a way, this is basically what you look at a planet Earth now. But a lot of people want to see it because, like, you couldn't see this shit. Like, no one knew about this kind of stuff then. So it was, like, really unique and interesting. Whereas now it's... I don't know. This is the first film for three people, and they're cool people, and I am hopefully going to pronounce all their names right, but I doubt it. Okay, there's Marion C. Cooper, who is a big film producer guy. He helped produce King Kong. He, uh, you know, he's a big talker, big adventurer. If you think of Jack Black in the remake of King Kong, film producer, adventurer, his friend, who's called Ernest B. Schoensack, shows he did The Most Dangerous Game, Mighty Joe Young, and King Kong. So he became, and he did a lot more. I think he did, like, Young Kong, did a couple Kong sequels. He also directed, and with Marion C. Cooper with him, the last mainstream studio silent film ever made. And the other person who, uh, is not really a filmmaker but a journalist, Marguerite Harrison. She is a spy and was arrested by the KGB two times. And they all went off and had cameras and went on the migration. At the end of the film they show you a certificate that says that they were the first foreigners ever to do this. Um, there is one, they run into a lot of cool things. Uh, the desert police. These guys are cool. They had camels and like little stars on their beanie things. I don't know. You get to sit down and see in 1924 like this my, this huge 48 day migration with all these people. There's like thousands of people. They show these wide shots. There's like so many people going to migrate like from all these different regions to this specific place. It's just really like it's kind of interesting and amazing. So if you have uh, seen this film and would like to talk about it or whatever, then uh, comment down there, right below, and uh, subscribe if you would like to. Yeah. It's called grass because they're going to eat grass, like actual grass, like from like lawn grass. It's not that weed movie. Sorry. Grass.